Are you a high school student who wants to study abroad? This is the right video to watch if you don't know anything about Common App. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss out any information here. Today, we've got something super important to share with you. We're diving deep into the Common App a game changer for your university applications. Trust me, you don't want to miss this opportunity. So, what exactly is this common app? It's an online application platform that allows you to apply to multiple universities with just one application. You heard it right. One application for multiple universities. Now, why should you care? Well, here are some killer benefits. Efficiency. No need to fill out 10 different forms for 10 different universities. Cost effective. Save money on application fees by bundling your choices. Exams and scores. Easily send your AP, SAT, or ACT scores to multiple universities. Global reach. Apply to international universities without any issues. Ready to get started? Let's walk through the registration process. But wait, there are some common mistakes that I don't want you to make. Miss deadlines. Don't miss any deadlines. It is super important. Incomplete essays. Your essays are your chance to shine. So make them count. Wrong information. Double. No, triple check everything. Here we have some pro tips just for you. Start early. The early bird gets the worm, or in this case, the acceptance letter. So I want you to get the acceptance letter by applying early. Use the essay prompts. The essay prompts are there to guide you, so use them wisely. The first thing that you need to do is to just go to commonapp.org. Please make sure that you come to this page. And over here, this is the Common App website. As you see, your future starts here. Here we have uh, more than 1,000 colleges on Common App. Feel free to check them. You can filter them here and you can find uh, your dream university here. And uh, the world is ready for you. Be ready for the world. And you can also plan your future here. And uh, why college matters, please read it. And paying for the college and your college roadmap here. A lot of good information. And your complete college application guide is available here for first year student guide and transfer student guide. And then we have also some blog posts uh, that you can check. And for counselors and recommenders, uh, we have also this portal. And you can access counselor resources here. And for member institutions, we have another section. And we have uh, sometimes uh, events and webinars. This video is um, for 2024 application. Very, very updated. So you can just uh, trust the information here. Now, let me take you to the beginning. Here, you can just find a college. <clears throat> As I told you, search here, search common app colleges by name. And uh, over here, we have also some filters, the colleges that accept first year applications and transfer applications, the location of your college here now, for example, um, today, we have uh, over 1,000 uh, colleges. You can just choose the region, for example, where you would like, as you can see the region here, the regions here. 
application for first year students, the ones um, that accept self-reported test scores, uh, charges no application fee. Some applications, uh, some university will charge you, but also you can filter here. The ones uh, that don't uh, require personal uh, essay and so on. Please feel free just to uh, play with them. Application for transfer students, some items here to filter and campus settings, uh, rural, urban, suburban, financial aid. Uh, and uh, here we have uh, some filters uh, and uh, more uh, just the details here. I'm going to just go over them very quickly. Public, private, total import, enrollment size um, and uh, specialized mission that they have. Based on your preference, it helps you narrow down the universities that you are planning to apply. Over here, you can also plan for a college, why college matters, paying your past family resources. You can share it with your uh, family members and they can also share their views with you. Here we have apply to college and for first year, uh, first year essay prompt and first year application guide will definitely help you. And uh, let's go to together application guide for first year students. You can just apply here if you click. You have to create an account for yourself. And after that, you can just um, do the rest. Watch the video. The video will help you. And uh, here, uh, this part is important. You need to collect the materials, a copy of your high school transcript a list of your activities, work, and family responsibilities. If you click on them, you will see the details. So I'm not going over the details. Test the scores and dates from your college entrance exams like SAT, ACT, AP, and so on. Parents, legal guardian information. Make sure that you have the information. Academic honors and achievements. As I said, just click on them to see the details. After just gathering all these materials and information, you need to create an account, create a common app account. Um, it is easy, just you will just create an account and then you can just access everything and uh, choose your student type. If you haven't yet attended college, select first year student. If you have college credits from dual enrollment high school courses, you should still select first year student. If you have already attended one or more colleges after graduating high school, select transfer student. Over here, they also have a separate transfer student guide to help you out. Create a new login credentials. And after that, you check <clears throat> just the colleges may need to get in touch with you during the application process. So be mindful of which email address you choose. Choose uh, a very appropriate email address. Sometimes your high school address uh, may filter out these emails. So consider using personal email addresses. When choosing an email address, be sure to use, uh, the, to use one that you check regularly, does not use inappropriate language, you will have access to after you graduate from high school. It is important. And complete your registration information. And uh, they will need some basic information about you, like your name, home address, phone number, date of birth. Be sure to use your legal name as it appears on official school documents and standardized tests. This will make sure colleges can match documents to the correct person. At the end, you will adjust your communication preferences and accept a common app privacy policy. Select create account and you are done. Now over here we have more information and after that you will add colleges. <clears throat> Once you've created your account and explore the colleges that accept the common app, you're ready to start adding colleges. Over here, let's watch this video together. The My Colleges tab is where you'll see all of the colleges you've added to your list. For each college, you will answer college-specific questions, 
invite and manage recommenders, complete any additional supplements, and submit your application. The college's information page provides detail about its requirements. Some of these requirements include deadlines, standardized testing policy, and recommendation requirements. The college's contact information is also included. In the application section, you'll answer their specific questions, invite recommenders, and submit. Take some time to review this section to understand your workload. The number and types of questions and recommender requirements are unique to each college. Some colleges may also require a writing supplement or portfolio. You'll access those sections in the My Colleges tab as well. Keep in mind, writing supplements so, and portfolios are completed and submitted separately from your application. Be sure to double check your dashboard to make sure you've submitted all required items for a college. Common App is here to support you along the way. You can find help at any time by visiting commonapp.org slash help. All right, <clears throat> that was really helpful. So you can just uh, get the information over there. And uh, there are also some other details that uh, I would recommend reading it. For example, fee waiver, and uh, some of you might be interested in it. And after that, engage uh, supporters. All colleges need things like official school forms. Many colleges uh, will also ask for letters of recommendations. And counselors, teachers, uh, and recommenders will submit uh, these kinds of forms on your behalf. Here are the types of recommenders uh, you can invite in the Common App, for example. In the past also, I've, I've sent a lot of uh, letters on Common App to my students. They requested, I received an email, and after that I, could, uh, I filled out the form and the requirements, and the students just received it. The counselors, parents, teachers, other recommenders, advisors, and so on. If you click on them, you will see the details of each. Every college gets to choose their own recommendation requirements. You can find more details on each college's college information page. And over here, we have the details. Please check it. And understanding the requirements, it's important to stay organized as you work on your applications. Each college needs you to complete uh, common questions and add counselor. Beyond that, their applications vary. Each college can determine their unique requirements for deadline, application fees, personal essay, courses, grades, um, test policy, portfolio, writing supplements, recommendations, and so on. So you need to check each college's specific requirements and here are uh, some places where you can find each college's specific requirements just click on them and you can check and after that you need to plan your essays sometimes writing essays can feel like the biggest part of your application with a little bit of planning organizing and drafting we can help you make this task more manageable so we have common app personal essay we have college specific questions and we have writing supplements on common app if you check you will get more information and after that you will submit your application let's watch this video i'm sure that it will help and after that i'll continue just talking about the rest submitting your college application is an exciting accomplishment with Common App, it's a simple three-step process. To submit an application to a college, you must complete all sections of the Common App tab, the college's specific questions, and invite your recommenders. Go to the Review and Submit screen of that college, and then select the Review and Submit button. If the personal essay isn't required by the college, you can choose whether to include it with your application. First, you'll review and make sure you're satisfied with your application. If necessary, you can exit the submission process to make changes and return later. Next, you'll move to the payment process. If you indicated that you qualify for a fee waiver, you'll skip this step. If the college has an application fee, you'll be taken to the payment and processing screens. Paying the application fee does not submit your application. You'll still need to return to the Common App to submit your application. 
In the final step, you'll review some affirmations and sign and date your application. Then select the Submit button to finish. You will see a confirmation screen and confetti to congratulate you on this accomplishment. Common App is here to support you along the way. You can find help at any time by visiting commonapp.org slash help. All right, that was it. <clears throat> and uh, then get ready to begin your journey. And uh, over here also, we have a lot of useful videos. Feel free to check them. So let me go back to the beginning. And uh, over here, the important part is uh, another important one is first year essay prompts. Let me just take you here. Over here, we have some topics. Below is the complete set of common app essay prompts for 2023, 2024. Just check them and um, just prepare yourself for these essay prompts. Do not copy anything from the internet or nowadays students use AI for writing their essays. I know that uh, all most of you are experts, but uh, you can just use probably AI to give you some ideas, but write it yourself. And because from the beginning, honesty matters, academic honesty matters a lot. So you can use AI to help you, but not to write the essay for you. And again, we have some resources to help you. Please uh, check it. And the transfer application guide that we have, you can also check it. And also there is uh, an, a mobile app you can download. And uh, <clears throat> now if you are ready and you feel that you are ready, you can just start apply now. But uh, first you need to create an account. For example, now, because I created an account, I'm going to just take you over there. When you just click on create an account, and you're going to just choose the one, first year student, transfer, education professional, parent, or uh, other adult. Imagine that you're first year student, you click your email address, password, and which best describes you. You will choose personal information that we have. Would you like to share a different first name? You can just write contact details. As I said, the information should be accurate, your address. And here we have some privacy policy and preferences. You will just choose here and then you can create your account. Now I'm going to take you to my account because I also created. I'm going to just, if you click on sign in later, you can just sign in as the uh, a first year student, transfer student. You can also sign in as a recommender login or a login or a member college login. Now this is uh, my account, but your account also will be very similar to this one. And that uh, you have your dashboard here. And uh, over here, if you need some help, some common questions, you can just check them here to get the answers to your questions. On the second tab, let me just zoom in a bit. Over here, we have one, my colleges, and uh, then Common App, College Search, and uh, Financial Aid. Now imagine, first thing that I need to do, I need to go to College Search. I will just choose the college based on my preference. So for example, I don't have anything on mind now, I will choose the first one and uh, after just adding it to your list, now that college is added. I'm coming here. Let me just, uh, now the college is here. When you add a college, your college uh, comes to you, my colleges list. When you click on it, you will see college information, application deadlines. It is important. An application information, the fee, it is a free one. So it's fine for me. A standardized test policy, they are very flexible, but I will check also more information. Courses, grades, not used, recommendations. They need, they require school report and counselor recommendation, teacher, teacher evaluation, not applicable here, and so on. And the saves the school forms after and the, the rest of them as you see additional information writing requirements and so on 
So you can just check it. And if uh, everything meets, meets your expectation, you can just uh, continue. If not, you can just remove this college from here. And the, in the application, there might be a question. The question for this college, uh, the questions are not ready and recommendation and the review and submit. So now what I'm going to do over here, I have common app. So what I'm doing here, what I'm going to do, I will just include all the details, personal information that I have here, my personal information, and then um, details, my address, contact details, demographics, language, geography and nationality, common app, um, fee waiver. Please just click on them and you will just... Uh, for example, over here, I wrote Istanbul, just a random address here. But then you can just complete them. Then the family, you need to just include the information correctly here. Your parents' marital status, parent one, parent two, your siblings, your education. <clears throat> you click on it and then you complete this part. You will find your school. If you can't find it, You, for example, when I click on it, for example, if I don't have the school here, what uh, there is also, let's say you, you will write, for example, let's say Ihsan School, for example, let's say Ihsan XXX, for example. So over here, for example, my school is not listed here. I don't see my school in this list. So you will just click on it. But if you have your school, you can just choose your school. And is this uh, boarding details about your school? Just you will complete it and the grades details. The first time it would take some time, but uh, for the applications and after that, it would be just much easier. When you come to the testing part, over here, the test uh, that you've taken, IELTS, uh, SIT, TOEFL, Cambridge exams, and so on, you will just complete this part and uh, which will help you later for your university application. The activities, uh, reporting activities can help colleges better understand your life outside of the class. It will definitely help you with your uh, application. And the writing part, if you click on the writing part, we have personal essay. <clears throat> Some colleges require submission of personal essay. Over here, for example, we have the one that's required, the ones that don't require you click I understand. Then we have the topics here. You will choose and then you will write your essay here. As I said, don't copy and paste or don't ask another person to write. Other people can help you. AI can help you, but not writing it for you. And so a teacher can guide you much better here. And after that, courses and grades, you just click on it. Here, the college is currently on your for example, my college, they don't require anything, but some colleges may require some courses here. And then college search, as I said, you will find it. Then uh, common app, you complete it once and uh, it's enough for the rest. And when you, when you click on colleges, you will see it here. And then after the application, you will see in your dashboard, for example, here, my application not yet available. But when I'm done, I will see it here that uh, my application is done. And financial aid, here we have different types of financial aid. Please read it carefully, grant and scholarships, uh, loans, uh, and uh, any, any of them might apply. If you need uh, more information, please click on the link and check it. And if you click on a scholarship, <clears throat> Over here, you will see the details again. Please don't miss any scholarships and uh, because it will make your uh, education much more affordable. And uh, that's it. It's everything about uh, Common App. And I wish all of you all the best. The Common App is your ticket to unlocking a world of opportunities. So don't miss out. If you found this video helpful, smash that like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content.